Rheinmetall AG is a German automotive and arms manufacturer, headquartered in Dusseldorf, Germany. Its shares are traded on the Frankfurt Stock Exchange. Rheinmetall was founded in 1889. Banker and investor Lawrence Zuckermandel was one of the founders and the first chairman of the supervisory board. It manufactured steel products, including armaments. During the post-WWI disarmament of Germany, the company diversified, but by the 1930s armament manufacture resumed. In 1933, it acquired a Borsig GmbH, which manufactured locomotives. This portion of the program will end around mid-2022 and the Army will take a three to five month break to evaluate bids from all companies interested in competing in the next two phases of the competition. The Army then plans to award three contracts for Phase 3 and Phase 4 activities. Combined, these two phases will cover 54 months and each company will be tasked with delivering 12 prototypes, as well as several ballistic hulls and turrets, armor coupons, ballistic kits, and data. Then in 2027 the Army intends to select one of these competing companies to proceed with low-rate initial production in anticipation of reaching the first unit-equipped milestone in 2029, and full-rate production in 2030. American Rain Metal Vehicles, LLC, headquartered in Sterling Heights, MI, is a part of Rain Metal's vehicle systems division and not only specializes in the development of combat vehicle platforms that provide next-generation products to the U.S., Department of Defense and federal and state law enforcement agencies, but also brings the Global Group's portfolio of vehicle systems to the U.S. market. American Rain Metal Vehicles offers both tracked and wheeled combat vehicle platforms with associated subsystems and works in conjunction with customer program offices to ensure its products meet specification and performance requirements for programs of interest. Among other efforts, it is engaged in supporting the U.S. Army in two particularly high-priority modernization programs, the optionally manned fighting vehicle program where the Lynx OMFV is being offered, and the common tactical truck program where the HX-3 CTT is being offered. American Rain Metal brings next-generation technologies that meet the U.S. Army's highest priority modernization challenges. Now, the AUSA annual meeting and exposition takes place in Washington, DC from 10 the 12th of October. This year's motto is Building the Army of 2030. American Rain Metal Vehicles and the exceptional U.S. defense companies of Team Lynx, Textron Systems, Raytheon Technologies, L3 Harris Technologies, Allison Transmission, and Andural Industries are designing a transformational next-gen infantry fighting vehicle, the Lynx OMFV, for the Army's optionally manned fighting vehicle program. featuring a U.S.-designed new, lethal, unmanned 50mm turret with 3rd-gen FLIR, a highly maneuverable and powerful right-sized chassis, advanced onboard protection systems including active protection, and an open systems architecture, ensuring overmatch today and overmatch tomorrow. In October 2018, Rain Metal announced a teaming with Raytheon to propose the Lynx KF-41 to the U.S. Army in answer to its developing next-generation combat vehicle program. This slated to replace the Bradley Fighting Vehicles and other current platforms. This program, now known as the Optionally Manned Fighting Vehicle Program, was halted on the 16th of January 2020. The U.S. stated it was canceling the OMFV prototyping competition in order to revisit the requirements and acquisition timeline. After revamping the OMFV competition, the Army moved ahead with a new plan that now has five companies, American Rain Metal Vehicle, V-Systems, General Dynamics Land Systems, Oshkosh Defense, and Point Blank Enterprises, participating in a concept design phase.